beer, and lots of it, will be the centerpiece of a special event at the American Club in Kohler. And Tio Zagroba is here. He's the beverage manager um, at Kohler. Correct. And um, it's at the Festival of Beer. How many years has this been going on? Uh, this is actually the fourth year that we'll actually be doing the festival. We've traditionally done it on Memorial Day weekend, but, but this year, it? yep, we moved it to the first weekend in June uh, to kick off the weekend and have a, a great time to kick off the summer as well. Now, we've talked a lot on, on this show, Good Day Wisconsin, about the, the uh, food and wine yes. um, event that happens in the fall. Uh, is the Festival of Beer very similar? Yes, it's very similar in the fact that what we have done is we put a lot of educational programming into it as well. So not only do you get some great events, where you have you know brewers sampling off specialty and rare beers that you don't get a chance to try but you get more intimate events where you have a home brewers demonstration where you get a chance to learn from people that are passionate about it we have a, a beer summit where we actually have three different breweries one that literally just started up in Sheboygan uh, Central Waters from Amherst Wisconsin and then the owner of Summit Brewing actually is coming over from Minnesota and it's kind of talking about how they've taken their passion and built it into a business and how they've started in their kitchen or wherever they started brewing their beer and took it into a, a you know a business yeah what a great opportunity to, to have those conversations with mm -hmm. people uh, who are making beer businesses too in our area. A lot of state breweries represented. Absolutely. We have different breweries such as uh, Stevens Point Brewery, uh, Line and Kugels, which is also sponsoring our golf tournament that we have for the weekend. Uh, obviously, New Glarus. Uh, Central Waters is a great part of the event doing some chocolate and beer pairing. Also, Ooh, a bourbon. I did not know yeah. beer and chocolate went together. Absolutely, it does. Uh, Sprecher is also a part of the event as well. Uh, Milwaukee Brewing Company and also Tyronita to mention just a few. All right, and you know, a lot of these labels you'll recognize, but the thing about going to a beer festival is that you're going to be exposed to a lot of beers that you've never tried before. And, and yeah, and that's the fun part about it because there's so many different beer styles and so many different things that people maybe haven't tried before. A perfect example is on Saturday, we do an event called Beers Around the World, where we have approximately 14 different countries represented through the entire event for two hours. So a lot of different styles of beer. You have your Abbey Trappist, you have your, you know, in beers from India, China, Japan. Um, I believe we've had one from Sri Lanka as well. So you get a chance to kind of try some things maybe that maybe you've never even heard of before. So it's a lot of fun. And uh, even Green Bay is represented, right? Absolutely. Hinterland, Hinterland will be there. Okay. What did you pour here? This I is... I said I could sample just a little. The show's <laughs> almost over. This is from Central Waters. This is their Illumination, which is their seasonal beer that's out and available right now. This okay. is a double IPA. So your traditional IPA is obviously very hoppy in style, but this one is a double IPA, so it has okay. a little more hops, a little more higher in alcohol, and it's got a lot of flavor. It's got a great profile. Uh, perfect pairing for a lot of foods, Ooh. like seafood especially. It's, sure. it's a great combination. Yeah, and I'm not a huge beer drinker, mm -hmm. but this has got some interesting flavors to it mm -hmm. that I, I would probably try with seafood. Absolutely. All right, and um, so how do people get involved in this event? Do they have to buy tickets ahead of time? You don't have to buy tickets ahead of time. You're more than welcome to. We have the information all available on our website, um, but you can just come up for the day. Uh, we have events starting on Friday at 5 o'clock. Uh, with the tapping party, which our ceremonial tapping of the keg will occur to kick off the weekend. Super fun. And then you have events on Saturday and Sunday where you can actually just come up for the day and purchase tics, tickets. Everything is available a la carte. You don't have to uh, purchase passes, but they are available for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and also an all-weekend pass. And such a great atmosphere, too. If you haven't been to Kohler, this is a great opportunity to, to see the grounds. Check it out. For more information, go to fox11online.com and click on Good Day Wisconsin. Thanks, Gio. Thank you. We'll be right back.